Hey, this is Paula. I have a great new recipe that I just did, and it's for a crustless quiche, and it has spinach in it. Now, typically your quiches use a pie shell, but this particular one, you don't need a pie shell, and it's so simple. It only has a very few ingredients in it. Now, let me tell you what you need to get started. Um, you will need some olive oil or oil any type of oil that you have, coconut oil or canola oil, but you will need some oil to do two things. One, to uh, put in the pan where you're gonna fry the onions, and two, to put it in the pan where you're actually gonna cook the quiche. So you need some oil, okay? And then you also need an onion, and you're gonna chop up that onion. In a previous video, I did show you how to chop up an onion, so, or you can do it your own way, however. Okay, and then also what you need is some, what I used is cheddar cheese. Now, what I did is I went to Trader Joe's and I got some cheddar cheese, okay? Now, this particular one, it's $3.99 a pound, and I got 0.63 pounds, so it, it cost me $2.51. But um, you're welcome to use whatever cheese you like, but this is the chunk of cheese that I used from Trader Joe's. Also, you will need some pepper, and you will need some salt, and I use... Um, sea salt in this particular case. You will also need some chopped spinach. Now you're gonna need a 10 ounce container of chopped spinach. If you notice, uh, this one is actually a 16 ounce <laughs> container, but I had used a little bit for my shake this morning. So what was left is what I used in the quiche. You are also gonna need five eggs. Okay, so uh, that's what you need as far as ingredients. Like I said, it's very, very simple. Now, as far as utensils, um, you will need a frying pan with a spatula, okay? And you will also need a bowl to mix the eggs and the cheese and the salt, and you need a whisk. But you will also need a spoon because, and you can see, I, I didn't even wash off the spoon yet. This I just finished making this, so it is that you'll need a spoon as well. And you'll need a grater to grate the cheese. That is unless you buy the pre-shredded cheese. Okay, so those are what you need to get started. Now, in, you, you normally would put this in a pie plate but I don't own a pie plate so actually what I ended up doing is putting it in my square pan like this okay so what you do first is you chop up your onions and you put your onions in a tea a tablespoon of oil that you put in the pan so you put the oil in your pan and you turn it on and you just um you uh Cook the onions while you know till while they're soft and you know until they're really soft, and then what you do is you add your frozen spinach, frozen chopped spinach, to the pan where the onions are, and you continue to cook it, and you cook it until all the liquid from the spinach is pretty much gone, and it'll have a nice fragrant. Um, smell with the, with the onions mixed in with the spinach. So you cook that and you set it aside. Next, you take five eggs, you take your five eggs and put them in a bowl. And then you take your whisk and you mix the five eggs in the bowl, okay? And then what you do is you add um, one fourth a teaspoon of salt. Oh, so that means we also need our measuring uh, items as well. This is too big, but you need your uh, measuring spoon. So you want to add a fourth uh, teaspoon of salt. And then you want to add an eighth teaspoon of pepper to your egg mixture. And you mix that up, beat that up together. Then you want to take your shredded cheese Okay, and you want to add that to your egg mixture. Now, if you try to mix it with a whisk, it's not going to work. So in that particular case, you need to use your spoon. So in this bowl, you have five beaten eggs. You have one 
um, fourth teaspoon of salt, you have one eighth teaspoon of pepper, and then you have um, your cheese. Now I did, what I did while I was making the recipe, I actually took a couple of pictures so that you can get an idea of some of the, the uh, processes. So if you look here, if you can see it, I hope you can, but this is my spinach and egg mixture, okay? I hope you could see it okay. If not, I'm sorry about that. And then I took a picture of shredding the cheese. So that's the cheese from Trader Joe's or wherever you get your cheese from, okay? And then there's my five eggs, unbeaten as of yet. And then here are my beaten eggs and I've already added my pepper and my salt, okay? And then this is my eggs, my pepper, salt, and the cheese mixed together. Okay, so we have in our pan our onions with the, with the spinach. We have our eggs, salt, pepper, and cheese in here in this container. So what I want to do next is I want to take my spinach mixture and I'm going to add that to the egg mixture. And of course, this is where we need the spoon to actually stir it together. So in here we have our onions and spinach and we have our eggs, salt, pepper, and cheese. Mix that together really good. And here is what it looks like unmixed. And I really hope this comes out clear enough. Okay, this is what it looks like unmixed. Once I mix it together, that's what it looks like. Okay, so now at this point, you either take your pie plate if you have one, or like I said, I don't have a pie plate, so I used my, I think it's what, five by five, four by four, anyways, it's a square pan. And what I did is I put olive oil in the bottom and along the sides of the pan because I don't want the mixture to, to uh, get um, stuck. Okay, and then I added my spinach egg mixture to the pan. And when I added it to the pan, this is what it looks like. Okay, and um, then I preheated my oven for 350 degrees, 350 degrees, and I cooked my quiche for 30 minutes. So here is what it looks like finished. You see it raised kind of nicely and it actually looks wonderful and it's it's just because it's in the pan here I don't have to use a spoon to scoop but I can actually just cut. Okay and now so I'm going to cut a piece of my quiche and I'm going to bring it out of the pan. Okay and here it is. Here it is cut. Okay, and I'm going to taste it because I just took it out of the oven, but I have not tasted it yet. So I'm going to taste this crushless, crustless quiche. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Mm, mm. Just took it out of the oven, so it's really, really nice and warm, too. Oh, you'll love this. Okay, um, so once again, to go over the ingredients, you need one chopped onion. You'll need a 10 ounce container of frozen spinach. You'll need five eggs. You'll need um, a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth teaspoon of pepper. Um, you'll need um, some oil, olive oil, whatever you have. You'll need a chunk of shredded cheese, which actually kind of ends up being like maybe, um, maybe eight ounces between maybe 8 and 12 ounces of shredded cheese. If you buy the chunk cheese, of course, you have to shred it yourself or you can uh, buy the shredded cheese. And um, I think that was all the ingredients. I got my eggs, got my oil, got my spinach, got my salt, got my pepper, got my onions. Oh, and the cheese. Oh, so wonderful. Once again, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Give it a try. It's really, really good. And this is crustless, so you're saving some calories and very easy to make. Once it cools down, I'm just going to put the lid on my container, put it in the refrigerator, and we'll have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, any meal. 
Um, you can eat eggs, quiche all day. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. I'll put the recipe inside the description box of this YouTube video. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube video and you can have upcoming recipes and other things that I submit to YouTube. All right, take care. Bye.